हेलो सो टुडे वी टॉक अबाउट यूनाइटेड नेशन फ्रेमवर्क क्लासिफिकेशन फॉर ओर रिजर्व एस्टिमेशंस और मिनरल रिजर्व एस्टिमेशंस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आल्सो टॉक अबाउट वेरियस एक्सिस ऑफ ओर रिजर्व एस्टिमेशंस लाइक जियोलॉजिक एक्सिस फिजिबिलिटी एक्सिस एंड इकोनॉमिक एक्सिस सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड टू गेन अ प्रिसाइज नॉलेज ऑन यूनाइटेड नेशन फ्रेमवर्क क्लासिफिकेशंस सो यूनाइटेड नेशन फ्रेमवर्क क्लासिफिकेशन इज अ थ्री डिजिट कोड बेस्ड सिस्टम इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ थ्री डायमेंशनल क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम ऑफ मिनरल रिसोर्स विद द फॉलोइंग थ्री एक्सिस इकोनॉमिक वाइबिलिटी फिजिबिलिटी असेसमेंट एंड जियोलॉजिक असेसमेंट एक्सिस द इकोनॉमिक वाइबिलिटी एक्सिस रिप्रजेंटिंग द फर्स्ट डिजिट वन द फिजिबिलिटी एक्सिस रिप्रजेंटिंग द सेकेंड डिजिट टू एंड the geologic axis representing the third digit 3 so see here you can understand by this graph what is economic viability axis what is feasibility and what is geologic assessment so see here this is the economic viability axis that have the code 1 feasibility assessment uh, axis that have the code 2 and geologic assessment axis that have the code 3 again economic viability axis have code 1 2 and 3 feasibility assessment also have code 1 2 and 3 and geologic assessment uh, axis have the code 4 1 2 3 and 4 so we will talk more about uh, e e1 e2 e3 f1 f2 f3 and g1 g2 g3 4 in next slide actually this is the e economic viability means e is taken from uh, uh, economic e1 and uh, f is taken from feasibility g is taken from geology So as I said in uh, previous graph, that the three categories of economic viability have code one, two, and three in decreasing order. Similarly, the three uh, categories of feasibility study also have code one, two, and three. While the four stages of geologic assessment are represented by four codes: detail exploration one, general exploration two, prospecting three, and reconnaissance four. Thus, the highest categories of uh, resources under UNFC classification will have the code one, one, one. and lowest categories of the code have the code uh, 334 see here this is the uh, code 1 this is the code 1 and this is the code 1 so because this code is working in a decreasing order that's why the highest categories of or each have code 1 in economic viability axis feasibility axis and geologic axis so the highest categories of or each have code 1 1 and 1 while the lowest categories of uh, or have a uh, code 3 3 and 4 so we will learn individually what is economic uh, axis and uh, what is feasibility axis and what is geologic axis so this is the economic viability axis so because the code of these axis is working on decreasing order so firstly we uh, talk about uh, code e3 Are uh, three code. So E three code is actually uh, known as economic to potentially economic. So E three categories requires uh, reconnaissance to detail geologic study, rough estimates of grades, general ideas about forest, non-forest, and land use status. The activities as above are less than that required for E E two. So the activities required by uh, E three categories is less than E two. next category is e2 that is uh, known as potentially economic so uh, this uh, e2 category requires general and detailed exploration work specific and huge grades of reserves general knowledge of forest non forest and other land use data the highest categories are known as uh, uh, economic grade so economic grade requires detailed explorations mining report mining plan working mines specific and huge grades of reserves above economic cut off grades specific knowledge of forest non forest and other land use data there is one other uh, uh, category marginal economic so so marginal economic resources are resources which at the time of determination are not economic but border on being so they may become economic in the near future as a result of changes in the technological economic environmental and other relevant conditions second one is job feasibility assessment so feasibility assessment uh, uh, have code f3 so this is the uh, lowest category of uh, code so this axis is requires geological uh, land related study a geological study is generally carried out in the following four main stages uh, 
Reconnaissance, prospecting, general exploration and detail explorations. The activities as above are less than that requires for F2. So F3 categories uh, requires the activities less than uh, F2 categories. So F2 categories is known as a pre feasibility study. So pre feasibility study requires geology, local geology, mining, environment, processing, infrastructure and services, construction activities, costing, marketing, economic viability and other factors. The highest category is uh, feasibility study or F1. So this requires geology and local geology, mining, environment, processing, infrastructure and services, construction activities, costing, marketing, economic viability and other factors. So list of important items in a feasibility study. Feasibility study requires uh, infrastructure. What is the infrastructure around the uh, ore body or deposits? What is the uh, geology of uh, ore deposit? Legal matters, if any, like uh, forest, non-forest, and uh, local legal matters. Operating, how the uh, ore body is ex excavated, like uh, open cast or underground. Environmental conditions. Market analysis and financial analysis. Third one is uh, geologic uh, study. So geologic study consists of four code uh, G4, G3, G2 and G1. So G4 is the uh, lowest category of uh, four that is known as rec uh, reconnaissance. So reconnaissance survey requires aerial re reconnaissance, geologic survey, geochemical survey, geophysical survey, technological, petrographic and mineralographic studies synthesis of all available data concepts the activities as above are less than that requires for g3 categories so g3 categories uh, is known as uh, prospecting and prospecting is uh, requires geologic survey geochemical survey geophysical survey technological petrographic mineralographic studies general exploration so general exploration is actually g2 categories and this uh, requires geologic survey Geologic survey, geochemical survey, geophysical survey, technological, petrographic, mineralographic studies. The highest categories of four is uh, comes uh, under G1 categories that is uh, known as detail explorations. So this requires a geolog geological survey, geochemical survey, geophysical survey, technological, petrographic and mineralographic uh, studies. So if you want to know more about uh, this uh, uh, classification and uh, more detail about these uh, points, what points is written here, you can uh, uh, see the UNFC classification uh, in any book or uh, uh, you can download it uh, from uh, internet. So various other terms used in uh, this classification and their definitions are as follows. So apart from uh, these axis, there are some uh, uh, other uh, classification so see here the first one is the total mineral uh, resources so total uh, mineral uh, resources consist uh, major mineral uh, resources that is uh, 331 code indicated mineral resources that have uh, 332 code and uh, inferred mineral resources that have 333 code so major mineral uh, resources is uh, mineral uh, resources can be estimated based on detailed explorations Indicated mineral resources uh, can be estimated with res uh, with reasonable level of confidence based on explorations, while uh, inferred mineral resources uh, uh, can be estimated with low level of confidence based on geologic evidence. So, 331 is the highest category actually in uh, total uh, mineral resources. That The second one is uh, uh, mineral reserves. So mineral reserves have uh, uh, proved mineral reserves and probable uh, mineral reserves. So proved mineral resources have uh, uh, code 111 while uh, probable mineral resources have code 121 and 122. So proved mineral resources uh, is a economically uh, mineable part of the uh, measured and or indicated mineral resources while probable uh, mineral uh, resources economically mineable part of indicated are sometimes uh, measured mineral resources so in mineral uh, reserves the proved mineral resources is a highest category that have the code 111 the third one is a reconnaissance uh, mineral resources that have the code 334 so reconnaissance uh, uh, mineral resources uh, 
estimated based on uh, regional geologic studies and mapping airborne and, and uh, uh, indirect methods preliminary uh, field inspections geologic inference and uh, explorations so this is the habit of deposit and uh, uh, unfc classification uh, like uh, stative form stative pound and uh, tabular deposits of uh, regular habit principal kind of minerals is included in this classification is uh, coal lignite iron uh, magnet and uh, sedimentary and meta sedimentary sequences like limestone dolomite barite gypsum is uh, comes under this classifications stratigraphic forms strata bound and tabular deposits so as i said that if you want to know more about the habit and uh, unfc classification you can uh, see unfc uh, classification in any books or uh, you can download from the internet this is the second type of uh, ore body habits stratigraphic form strata bound and tabular deposit and uh, the minerals that comes under this category so you can read it uh, uh, separately in any books or you can understand by this also and this these uh, uh, minerals is comes under this category gem stone comes under this category as you can see here placer and residual mineral deposit of uh, hill and valley was such and valley was which comes under this category which included uh, diamond rutile monazite garnet ilmenite etc dimension stones which comes here like uh, marble slates and sandstone granite etc so this is the all about uh, united nation framework classification if you have any uh, doubt in this classification you can uh, uh, you can ask in comment box